All right, we are rolling. This one is for you. That's you, Virgo. This is from Terra Illumination. And it is your mini generic love and relationship report for the January 2019 season. Thank you for being here. You know, if you're new, uh, please have to get through the kind of the drill here to get things rolling. If you've been here before, please forgive me. Just if you have to just fast forward to the reading, but I got to get a lot of information out to people first off. <clears throat> please know that there is a description box below this video. That's where we're stuffing a lot of the links now. So you can check out almost everything from there. You don't even have to go back to the YouTube channel. First Friday, group healing event. Tickets available now. Okay, check out the links down below. Shopping, TL merch, links below. Terra Illumination Satin Silk Scarf. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Terra Illumination book about January 2020, a tumultuous time in global history, and we're heading right into it right now. Think of 1776 Revisited. Also, check out the playlists for the Astro Doodles. There's a whole separate playlist just for the Astro Doodles for this month because it's such a uh, an important month. Okay. Next, if you need, because it's going to be a, such a tumultuous month, very dynamic. Um, it can really wig people out in relationships. So if you need to go, uh, you, you can get a personal reading over here. Just check the link below. Singles. If you want to, you can watch this too. Because if you allow for the laws of attraction, there's you pulsing and radiating energy. And what is being attracted back to you? At least you can think of it as potential, okay? Now, the other thing is, of course, you know the routine. Cross watch for your significant others. The other thing is... Watch for your sun, moon, and rising, the very dominant aspects of our nature, and uh, reinterpret for the one that matches best for you, okay? And create your own reading out of all of that stuff, okay? Finally, uh, the best way you guys can say thank you, I love you, Terra Illumination, is to become a member. Check the links below. It'll explain everything, okay? I'm not going to tell you more here. We just don't have enough time. All right, so Virgo, this one is for you. Let's do some of this first. Hold on. This is a tumultuous, dynamic month for everybody. We've got two eclipses. The first one, January the 5th, over here in Capricorn. Very sweet for you, Capricorn, and Virgo's very happy and comfortable together. But it is an eclipse. Oh, what can I tell you? Oh. And then we have the other big eclipse at the end of the month. Leo Aquarius stuff going on here. I'm just going to, this is not an Astro Doodle thing for the whole reading. I'm just mentioning this because it's probably better if you just go to the other playlist. But look at here, okay? This is you, Virgo. There's all this other stuff going on and tons more too. But this is what's jumping out at me. It's very sweet that you've got Venus and Jupiter there in your seventh house of home and family, foundations and security. Great. Hope you're really enjoying that. But look at this. You've got this massive Capricorn new moon here, solar eclipse, okay? Sun, moon, Mercury, Saturn, and Pluto all piled up there in your fifth house of true love, fun, romance. So it's going to be new beginnings, dramatic, profound new beginnings. Uh, uh, and that inevitably means endings, okay? Now, I don't want to get too mixed up with eclipses here and all the chat about endings and beginnings, but spirit, eclipses are gateways, spiritual gateways, uh, forced evolutionary growth, okay? You can't get out of it. So you're going to get some kind of jolt, harmonious jolt, hopefully, <laughs> for you, Virgo, in your love life. So much, it's going to, things are going to get, let's say, much more serious, okay? Much more profound and much more real. Like, the levels of integrity that are going to be demanded are very high now. And they're going to, the pressure is going to increase, okay? All that Capricorn energy, uh, there's no room for nonsense. There's no room for fakery. Any abusers, any fakers, uh, it's all going to be exposed. And there's no way out of it. So, you know, oof. but again, the Capricorn energy is very sweet for you. Now, for Virgo, we're going to be using the Crucible spread, okay? It's our Terlumination custom spread for love and relationships, uh, built on the understanding that there's you, Virgo, significant other, and a third entity, the relationship itself. And a Crucible 
is a structure that is designed to withstand the intense pressures uh, of chemical reactions. And so it's the same thing with human beings. Human relationships are like alchemical reactions and intense pressures can happen. And we need somewhere for that to happen. I think of it as a crucible and the relationship is the crucible. You'll see in a moment. What are you radiating here, Virgo? Hmm. You're like a cell phone. You're always transmitting and receiving energy. What are they radiating over here? Hmm. This is not a couple's reading, okay? It's all about you, Virgo, and we're allowing for a character in the storyline, okay? Deep down, what are you radiating? Heart and soul from here, uh, energy. Uh, what are they radiating from heart and soul? And over here at the core, the crucible itself, this is the crucible, this whole thing, but this is the foundation over here. It has its own life, energy, mission, and purpose, okay? And you guys own this thing. So what have you got here? What are you creating? What are you growing? Think of it like a business, the business of your relationship, okay? Capricorn, business, business, business. Okay, and what are you guys fostering here? Like, what do, what is being fostered out of this, nurtured? What's growing here? Is it a weed? Is it out of control? Is it highly conscious? Whatever. Anyway, we're going to look in a moment at the circumstantial energy, environmental influences. I like to think of it as weather. Think of it as the planets. What are the planets doing? How are they affecting you as you intimate and separate, intimate and separate? Okay, the Knight of Cups here. So this feels very, very noble. I feel that in some ways you're very grateful for what's happening in January and what's going to be happening and what happens after January. It's almost, to me, it feels like let's, let's, we need this. It's about time. And you have only the best of intentions. It, to me, it feels like there's a very loud message coming to you from heaven saying this is a really opportune moment for you, Virgo, to really uh, increase the integrity, uh, the, the solidity, the, like, the seriousness of your love life and the loving relationship that goes with it. Because whatever you considered your love life is basically now immature and a new uh, upgrade is happening and it has to happen. It's inevitable. And I think you sense this already because it, with the Virgo Capricorn energy, you're already very in tune naturally. And so my feeling is that you're going, this is a really good opportunity to, for you to take full advantage of this J January Capricorn new moon solar eclipse. It's very good for you in a very comfortable, deep, profound, satisfying way when it comes to the love. Okay, let's have a look over here. What are you radiating? Let's have a look. Okay, the nine of coins. Wow. Okay, I like to see pentacles in a love reading because it's evidence of love. Love is as love does. Okay, from the tarot illumination perspective, love is as love does. The actions speak louder than the words. The truth speaks louder than the the story, okay? So with the nine of coins, my feeling is that you are radiating a very strong energy of independence, coming into your strength, being loving and being loved in a way that's evident. You can see it in your world, your surroundings, your environment, where it's like you don't have to answer to anybody anymore. I am loving. I am loved. That's it. That's all I have to do. That's all I have to know. Be loving and be loved. I create consequences. I am whatever is not working for anyone and everyone else. That's their that's their problem. That's not your problem. you you Virgo. Your job is to love thyself. Create your own wealth, abundance, independence, state of let's say individuation. Let's call it where you don't really answer to this or that or that or that. You're just you, but you're taking it to the next level now. And this is good. And it might really start to glow in terms of your actions. And other people would witness that. Love is as love does. Okay, over here at Terra Illumination. And a definition of that would be love is, when we're using love is as love does, and we're talking about evidence, tokens. Love is so valuable. You can think of it as love tokens. You've got a lot. You've earned a lot. You deserve a lot, okay? Love can be considered a willing, conscious decision to go above and beyond your natural comfort zone 
like the easy way, and instead extend yourself in a way that might be tough or hard or work in order to foster and nurture your own spiritual growth and healing and evolution, consequently that of a loved one, of your loved ones, and then that energy radiates and glows around you. So you become uh, like a generator of love, okay? And that looks like a very good, noble intention here, wanting to love, wanting to be loved, and having the resources, talents, and gifts to do that. And there's no dependency here or anything. You're just doing that. And I think the Capricorn New Moon Eclipse is going to enhance that and make it much more understandable for you. And you'll see that more clearly. Let's have a look about what are they doing. Okay, the Four of Cups. Okay, well, it might not be sitting so well with a significant other Virgo. Remember, it's not a couple's reading. It's all about you, but we're allowing for this character. So sometimes when people come into their power, let's say, okay, I'm, I'm dealing with the issue here of imbalance of powers, imbalance of powers in relationships, where let's say somebody outgrows somebody, somebody matures in relationship, and effectively, no harm, no insult intended, but leaves, outgrows somebody, or let's say you, let's say you, Virgo, grow in your own strength, your own ability to love and be loved, where you don't have to answer to whatever protocols existed before, that can actually be very disruptive for a relationship. Even though you are in a good place and you have uh, this amazing eclipse working for you, it could actually disrupt the other person because, you know, no insult, but they could be feeling left behind. They could be feeling like, well, wait a minute, if you're having all this profound, cool, amazing stuff, what about me? And they could feel as though they're being left out, forgotten, outgrown, and wondering what they did wrong. Like if you're becoming more and more and more strong and confident and independent over here, and they are already maxed out being as loving as they can be. And they don't know what to do anymore. And they're starting to radiate the energy of somebody who uh, doesn't know what's going on in their love life with you or the relationship. And they start to think and things like, what am I, what am I doing wrong? Where did I go wrong? Why? What about this? What about this? Uh, maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should have done that to explain what's happening now, which is really good for you, Virgo, but it might not be that much fun for them. The thing is that, you know, with the Four of Cups, you have to remember uh, energy flows where attention goes. And so when uh, this person is so focused on what's not working, they're missing the point about all the love that is there. Now, how that love life looks now, you can, remember, Virgo, this eclipse, these eclipses, this month is very dynamic for everybody. It's not just like you are getting slammed by the eclipse and then they just go up and be themselves. They're getting slammed by the very same eclipses in some part of their life, okay? And it's going to impact the relationship here. Now, this is all about you, but my feeling here is that <clears throat> in some way they're struggling. Like, they, they don't understand what's going on. Like, there's something not working for them. I thought we had all this, all of that, and like, it's not working. And it's like, woe is me. I'm not as loved as I thought I was. And it's simply, it, it might be just a perception thing because we all grow and evolve in love and relationships. As we go through the crucible here, we're always, we intimate, we separate, we intimate, we separate. We're always growing and evolving like plants and trees. But you might be evolving in a different direction in your own strength and independence, being loving and being loved in such a way that, you know, you could outgrow this. Nothing good or bad about that. It happens, you know. Who knows, maybe a few years from now, this will be reversed. And all of a sudden, you're feeling impoverished in love. Okay, let's have a look. <clears throat> Radiating from deep down. Ten of coins. Whoa. <laughs> it's a lot of pentacles in love. That, to me, this is really good news, Virgo. Deep down, my feeling is that you are now becoming much more fully aware about how much you actually have. In terms of tokens, if you think of the Ten of Coins as love tokens, you are not, you are, it's like you're independently wealthy. It's like 
uh, what do they call that word? I'm just going to say it. F-U money. <laughs> you can reinterpret that. I'm not using using the actual word, so I think I'm okay with the guidelines, but uh, community guidelines here. Excuse me, YouTube, sorry. Uh, so with the Ten of Coins, my feeling is that you are really radiating your energy in a very like raw, natural, earthy way. Evidence, evidence of love. And you're realizing how much love you have, how loving you are, and how valuable this is. And this is not to be squandered. You don't squander this energy. This is not something that you squander on sentiment or pity or anything like this. When you have this much love, you become extremely aware about where are you sharing this love? With whom are you sharing this love? This is not love that you want to um, put into, what's that word, fallow ground? Or, you know, do not waste this. You're aware that you have so much and you're coming into your strength, you're in power in terms of love and evidence. I don't know how else to say this right now. I could talk about this forever. So let's just keep moving. What's happening inside there? The Three of Cups. Is my feeling here is that they just want to share. They just want to share some of that. They, would, they, they might be very aware that you are really, really growing and blossoming over here. And that you're coming with the best of intentions. And that you have... Basically, I, I just feel like almost an unlimited supply of like love tokens. And that makes you kind of bulletproof. It's like you can start to carve out your own new designs and structures and remodeling plans about how you want things to work for you in love going forward from here. Like, and again, um, how that works for them, that again, that's their problem. It doesn't mean it's the end of the world for them, but they might be, this is, to me, feels like such strong energy, uh, and it's in a very solid, complementary way with the eclipse that um, it might be a little intimidating for them. You know what happens in, in relationships? Let's say you're in a loving relationship, and all of a sudden, like, let's turn the story around. There's you being Virgo, and everything's going great up to a point. And then they're doing everything, and they're, you know, there's status quo, there's the relationship, and all of a sudden they get a massive promotion, and they have money and status and everything, and then you're like, oh, wait a minute, what about me? What about us? You're you're hanging out with all these rich people and doing cool stuff, and like, you know, staying late at work and getting promoted, and what about me? So that's what I think is happening over here, Virgo, with the other party. I feel that you are really strengthening and maturing here in a way that's very good for you, which is a little bit intimidating for them. My feeling is that they would love to just hang out with you <laughs> and party with you and be part of your party. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look at the core. Let me see something here. And so since this is at the core of the relationship, like the crucible, there, there's the thing, All right, There it is, there's the crucible, okay? There it is. This eclipse is so strong. My feeling is it's so strong, and you're in such a good position, Virgo, where you have to take a very serious look at what is happening here and where things are going. It's like a huge, massive new jump start. You know, like they use those what are those things they use in emergencies where they jump start your heart? It's a massive thing. It's a complete reboot, restart here, and it, it, you're coming in good, and you're going to grow and improve from here. But the thing is, because it is an eclipse, with an eclipse, you know, it's a spiritual gateway. Uh, there's no turning back. You come into the eclipse. You live through the eclipse. You come out the eclipse. You don't go back. You're in a brand new place, a brand new world where you have never been before, they have never been before, and the relationship has never been before. So you're looking at wild new horizons, complete open new landscape, which could be jaw-dropping for you, Virgo, in some way, shape, or other. And they are around, like, let's say nearby, going like, oh my gosh, Virgo, what is happening to you? Uh, am I included? Uh, are we gonna are we gonna you know have some lovey dovey? Because I'm not really that convinced that everything is that okay for me over here. 
oops, sorry. So let's have a look. What's being, what's being, let's say, let's say you understand this Virgo and you see it like a business. You start to see it's like a business opportunity, the business of relationships. We intimate, we separate. We've been intimating, we've been separating. We have time, we have history, we have love. I am loving, uh, I am loved. You have been loving, you have been loved, and so on. But this is a tectonic shift here. With this eclipse, it's huge. It takes things to a whole new level like a balance of power out of whack where like everything has a status quo for however long or whatever. Then all of a sudden you Virgo, you are blossoming and you deserve it. And then all of a sudden like, well, wait, what about me? What about me? Okay. So that's what I'm feeling here, but that should not stop you from living your life. Okay. Just be aware that they might, um, have a lot of love to offer, but they're not sure how they fit into this equation because this is very strong and very good for you. All right, let's have a look. What's coming out of this? Oh boy. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> With the lover's card here. There's no question about it, Virgo. You are stumbling into something very profound, very serious, and very new, and it puts you right at the vortex of what would people call like a, a loving relationship. And the question is, what do you do with that? You might be realizing how incredibly lucky you are or how much, how many resources that you have. And the question is, well, what am I supposed to do now? What do I do with that? And you're realizing, oh my God, this is, this is serious stuff. So it's very much in alignment with the Capricorn new moon eclipse here. This is deadly serious. This is very profound. And it's like a serious maturation that I think is going on here with you, Virgo. And it could have amazing, you know, ripple effects and side effects for a significant other. They might be just hanging around hoping they can get some of this, you know, like, you know, have you heard that expression? Like, hey, Virgo, I don't know what you're doing and how you're doing, but can I have some? What, what are you taking? What are you drinking? Uh, what, what's your, what are you on? What do you, you self-medic? What are you taking? What's happening? How do you do what you do? Because I, I want some, because, uh, you know, I can be loving. I can be loved. I can be really, really fun to be with. And you're like, <clears throat> excuse me, this is very serious. I'm having a very serious conversation with myself about us and our relationship and me in particular, because I need to know what's going on here. I cannot afford to squander this. I have so much I could theoretically just give it away, but that's like waste. It has to be invested. This kind of love needs serious consideration. How are you investing, Virgo, uh, your love going down the road here? Because the eclipse, the new moon eclipse is the start of a brand new journey in that regard, okay? Wow. Okay, let's leave it at that. I'm not going to say anything more. I don't want to spoil it. You can reinterpret however you want, okay? Uh, all the best. You know the routine, cross-watch, uh, sun, moon, and rising. And please become a member. That's the best way to say thank you, Tarot Elimination. Okay, bye-bye. Please, uh, if you have to reinterpret this, you know, there's a lot of good readers out there. You could see a whole different story here. I'm giving you my version of it. When I do these things, I see it like a movie. And I try to read it out to you like I'm translating subtitles for your enjoyment pleasure. All righty. Thank you so much. All right. Here we go. Let's have a look. There we go. Clickety-click. Bye. Bye.